Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Goblets and Warlots, episode 18 of Order of the Goblet. Uh, we did not, we have not heard anything from the player that plays Gene. Uh, so I hope everything's good. I hope everything's safe. Uh, I don't know where they're at. Um, oh, well. Uh, we'll keep pushing on, so maybe he's severely hungover. Thank you. The true vessel for the subscription. Who gets the advantage? Um, I don't know. Uh, uh, Arwenus. She's pretty low. All right. Uh, welcome in, everybody. Back to episode 18 of Order of the Goblet. Uh, there is re viewer rewards down in the bottom. Uh, everybody that you see that has a D means determination, which means they can add the proficiency bonus to any D20 roll. They can only have one at a time. Uh, so the, currently the two people that does not have a determination is Assam and Nico. So if you would li like to uh, redeem one of those, put in chat who you're giving it to, all right? Uh, especially if you have multiple people that does not have a determination. Uh, those are one and only. You cannot stack those. Uh, subscriptions, you can give advantage to anybody you like. Get the subscription. You uh, Greater push from healing drops out of a bag of holding. And then increments of five or higher or whatever. Uh, then we start rolling off uh, magic item tables. Uh, and there's also a redemption for magic item table on uh, view rewards. And you can also become a sad quest bit bad with an option to join the stream if you want to role play that. So I've yet to have anybody redeem that. I think Sufon, Sufun is the closest, he said, or he's, he was waiting for that. With that being said, uh, so... Sorry, we're a little bit late today, um, but uh, we had a lot of people trying to get home and stuff. So it is what it is. So uh, what we're looking at is I have started back work. So we're looking at every other Sunday would be like 6, 6 p.m. PST. And then uh, the weekends, I don't work like five-ish. We're somewhere around there. So. Um, so, with that being said, I do have fellow streamers in this game, so let's turn it over to JR, the nerd. Uh, I'm JR, the nerd, and um, I do this streaming thing where you stream on some days. On Tuesdays, there is Maiden's Mayhem. Uh, we have been out for a little while because we've had some people on vacation, some people are sick, basements got flooded, but it looks like we are going to be playing this Tuesday. If we don't play, then uh, I've also been trying to solo BG3 and seeing if I can handle all these battles with just one character instead of four. And that's been pretty fun. Uh, then eventually I'm going to start doing something more days, but it's going to take a minute. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I read the Tomb of Annihilation uh, like book and I figured out what I want to do with it. I'm just waiting for some technical things in terms of like moving maps in and all of that. So close, I'm getting there, I'm getting there very slowly, little by little. One day that will be up and running. And right. that's all I have to say about me. All know. right, and uh, Silver Wolf. Uh, I'm Silver Wolf, I'll stream actually now on Wednesdays in the mornings for with uh, making and crafting. So I'll be crocheting then at about 8.30 Mountain Time. And then on Friday nights, I will be doing either horror games or FPSs at 7 p.m. or 5, depending on the kids' schedule. So uh, besides that, you'll see me here on Goblets and Warlocks every Sunday. So super excited. And she's looking to probably join Dragonlance. So keep that in mind, too. All righty. And uh, for me, uh, we have this. And then the rest of my campaigns are coming around sometime in August. Uh, right now, you can catch me on Monday nights over in Cleansing Range channel. I play Lithin, the Grave Cleric. We had a blaster episode last Monday, and uh, it was pretty fun for me. I did a Grey Riot tribute uh, with my sending at the end of it. It was pretty fun. Um, I've gotten all the overlays back for the uh, charity stream, and I have also printing all. I have printed off this 110 scale Carlac, which I'll be doing as giveaways for the charity stream when that comes in October and that would be August I mean I'm sorry October every Wednesday uh, Dugan speaking... I have a really important question for you oh uh, what are you a Carlac simp of course who isn't 
Woo! So for my evil playthroughs, she's probably going to die. But anyway, uh, <laughs> um, also I'm going to be printing off a 110 scale of uh, Shadow Heart because I have one of those as well. All right. With that being said, uh, yes, let's see. Uh, hit the charity stream. Touched on Cleansing Rain. Do we a shout out for Cleansing Rain, please? Uh, I'll be there tomorrow night, uh, 6 p. No, 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, give or take a few minutes. So be sure you go check out Cleansing Rain for that, for if you want to catch me in full cosplay of Lithin. Uh, yeah, charity stream. Da, 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 da. I think that's everybody. So let's get into the game, guys. Grab, uh, let's see. Who's doing a recap? It's Esam. Esam, you got recap tonight. Uh, you also get uh, inspiration if nobody didn't already add it. So thank you, guys. We'll be right back. Enjoy the intro. In a world of magic and mystery, where dragons soar and elves roam free, there lies a secret society known as the Order of the God that you see. From the shadows we emerge, protecting the realm with a search. Our mission, a duty, a pledge to keep the balance to save the We fight for what's right. Raise your swords and raise the shield for the order of the God that we will will Magic and light, our enemies we will in the darkness of secrets I see you. So beware of who dare to go oppose the order of the let our power grows. For in the shadows we wait and we scheme. Protectors of the Welcome back. Song, would you like to lead us in tonight's recap in the eyes of a song? All right. So suddenly it's almost as if time freezes and everything around Isan dissolves into shadow and darkness. Uh, he looks around for a moment and, uh, and he says, I got something that he says when he does his thing, but I didn't hold up yet. Uh, Queen of night, keeper of the spaces in between, mistress of secrets, I thank you for your gifts. Thank you for the whispers you've passed to me in my dreams. And in return, I have whispers for you. Um, he realizes that she's come for her tithe. She doesn't answer, but the sound of wings flapping and circling him are the only answer he needs. Hmm. I'm in East Haven now, still with these awful people. I miss my home. I miss Devil's Bork terribly, but I think there may be a reason that I'm here. The only two I've spent much time with are Arwenus and Kalis. Arwenus. You know, she's terribly cold unless she's making demands. It's almost like she thinks she's royalty or something. And Kalis, well, he seems nice enough, except for the part where he's a zealot that was raised by a cult. Uh, I spent the night in the same room with, with Kalis, and he'd been sleeping for some time, I think, receiving a message from his god at the same time. I received your message, and... Uh, he suddenly woke up and immediately, instead of saying hello, demanded to speak to Providence. <laughs> um, he rushed out of the out of the room. I wasn't really sure what to do, uh, and rushed into another room in the end, uh, where 
from the hallway, it looks like uh, maybe Providence had triggered her abilities and was murdering someone. I'm not quite sure what was going on. It's a little bit confusing. Um, and then out of nowhere, uh, someone came and made the postal worker just disappear. Uh, post of work for Nico, who I don't have much of a track on. I've only seen her briefly, and most of the time she was disappeared into another plane. Um, so uh, after that, there, there, was, a, there was a battle, um, and uh, some people dressed like clowns, I think, that could, uh, that could summon demons and like little imp-like figures. Uh, attacked us, as well as a troop of changelings. Um, they wanted a book. Uh, in fact, they had offered to let us live if we gave the book to them, um, which seemed generous, but I don't know who they were or what they wanted exactly at first. Um, when everything settled, it turned out that uh, apparently Varana who is the patron of Arwenus, even though Arwenus isn't a warlock, was in some cards and then in the dagger, but then like not in a dagger, and then Fane was in a dagger, but maybe not in some cards, and now Fane is a patron of Arwenus. But uh, Fane is a warlock, but Arwenus is not a warlock. It's very, very confusing. I'm not entirely clear on the whole thing. But, um, but that's what seemed to be happening. Uh, one of the troubling things. Uh, Kalis didn't quite finish telling us what his vision was entirely about, but he mentioned something about bloodstone. And um, looking on the bodies, I found a dagger. I think I know what's going on here. I I suspect. Uh, I, think I, I think I may have... I don't have all the pieces together, but I think I may be beginning to understand. Uh, particularly worried about providence um at first i was just worried that you know the only other time i've ever met one of our kind you know how that went um, he kind of like touches his back like almost like there's something painful back there um and then let's go for a moment takes a deep breath and he says at first i was wondering maybe she would be well you know like him, but now I'm wondering if maybe I'm the one that's like him. She doesn't know anything. She seems so completely lost. And I'm wondering if I'm wondering if, wondering if she's in terrible, terrible danger. Maybe not herself, but is about to cause something terrible to happen for everyone. Maybe I should stay along for a little while longer to see if I can play a role in preventing this or not. I don't know. I can't necessarily force myself in a situation where I'm not really wanted, but at the same time, I don't know if I can just stand by. That's it? I think that covers it. Did I forget anything? Yeah, I think that was it. Yeah. Uh, we pick up where we left off. The corpse of this caster. The bodies of his fellow commandrins lay in there on the ground. You found a note as you were starting to pull it out to look at it. You are also, I think, preparing to cast Speak With Dead. As you were standing around, Kalis is trying to pull everybody together to talk about this vision. And... Who wants to do what? We were going to go downstairs, right? So we could sit? No? Oh, okay. I think we have a bunch of dead bodies. We should probably... Um... <laughs> we don't care oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Kalis is defense. He can't see the dead bodies. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I just did commit several murders. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> can we just throw them out the window that's what i was thinking i i think we should keep them for a moment um they may be of some use yet 
Okay. I, I have... just start stacking them up I... and then carry them to my room. <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> all the bodies that, besides the main one, as you went to go start stacking, you go to check. All you find is their clothes. The clothes. I just mm -hmm. lift it up. You sure there was a body here? Nope. As you lift yeah. it up, you see ash flying <laughs> out. They you must ash. have hit them really hard, Kalis. Well, hmm. I guess I'll feel around and pick up robes. There were, what, four of them? There's four of them plus the guy, so yeah. Are there daggers still there? Isam had one of them. Is his dagger yeah, still there? The weapon. Everything is there except for the literal bodies. Yeah. They each had okay. their own dagger. Each one had. Uh, I I forgot what I described to you as them, but we should probably keep the daggers. We should throw the daggers away. What if I draw the dagger and then we throw them away, but we have a record of what they look like? They look like daggers. I I would say let's maybe hold on to one. I'd rather not. What if we just put it in a bag and never have to look at it again until it becomes extremely necessary. What if you keep it away from me in my bag? Because you, you, I don't know who you are. Oh, hey, I'm Nico. Nice to meet you. I'll hold up my hand. <laughs> he just stares there. Okay, I'll I'll keep my hand out. Okay. He's blind. I'll move close and like till my hand is basically like touching your chest. Hey, I'm Nico. How's it going? Who are, where, um, why, and how? Uh, who is Nico? Where is about a foot in front of you? Why is because apparently you're blind and couldn't see that I was trying to shake your hand? And I don't know how to answer the how part. Providence. <laughs> yeah. She followed us. She's enamored with, Sil uh, with uh, Arwenus. That explains a lot. Hey, from what I hear, you're hot. She is. Or an old lady. Rude, we're, hey! I mean, we're basically the same age if you, like... In human years, I'm about 20 years old, okay? Uh, um, I gather up all the daggers and I give them to Isam. Okay, Isam will... Stick them in his pack. Like, stash them. Just, it, um, just keep them hidden. Does, does, Who has a bag of holding? Those are really I dangerous. I, I do. I think Kayla's does. <laughs> Some. Those, those are really dangerous. Just throw them in there. In the bag of holding? Yeah. Okay. He's like, I think they may be the key to infiltrating this group. I was thinking possibly. the exact same thing. We can check and see if they have any sort of magical abilities a little bit later. Um, uh, can I actually just blast off like the uh, wild magic barbarian divine sense -y magic you thingy? Mm -hmm. do, I, do I sense anything from the daggers? Not from the daggers, but that mace. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're... also my little pseudo dragon. That's they're not magical, but but that is that the mace. What mace? Uh, this one. Is it on the ground? I'll just pick it up. Was somebody uh, wielding it? Yeah, um, hold. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Big guy, oh, hold okay. it in your hand. And she places it in your hand. It it probably be a good weapon for you. Although I like you with the hammer. Yeah, I like my hammer a lot. So, uh, Providence, as you're looking at the mace, as you go to pick it up, um, I'll just put in, because I forgot to do this. I know I forgot to do something. Man, do this, and I'll put it in our Zoom chat. Nah, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> oh. 
Actually, I'll put it in our Discord chat because that's I can do that easily. You're really quiet, Chicken. I'll put it in the Discord. No. Ooh. Open image in a new tab. There we go. This is what the the dagger mace looks like. Like, got like two skulls on each side, like a uh, razor sharp. Um... <clears throat> it is not a pretty mace. That is making me wish that I didn't have a strength of like negative a hundred. I was like, it kind of fits your vibe. Uh... Pass the vibe check, but not the strength check. It's <laughs> <laughs> like. Um... Do we know what that Sorry. does? Do you guys want me to check it out? There we go. Can if you? That's a, if that's a thing you can do. Yeah, I can do that. Postal service workers are very resourceful. Yeah. You deliver mail? I do. I met a mailman once. Yep. Yeah. I might know them. What's what was their name? Maybe I ran ran a uh, ran with them. The the man that came to the temple with mail. Every oh, okay. now and then. Did he did, actually? <laughs> do you know? Did he did he wear the the P seven badge? Kalish just stares at you. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't. You couldn't see it. That's fine. Okay, back on track. What about the <clears throat> list that was on the body? There was a list. There's a list. Yeah, he some has it. Um, he pulls it. He's like holding it actually, like as you guys are talking, and he looks to Arwenus, and then he looks to Verana, um, and he she's gripping this other tome, like yeah, you can almost since she has green hands, it kind of like her knuckles kind of turn like a yellowish color because she's gripping it so hard. He bows to Fane Verana for a moment, and he says. I apologize for our lack of decorum. Uh, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I'm Yisam, by the way. She she just got this sheer look of shock on her face, and she's in a post-traumatic experience right now. She is, like, in shock. Now would be a good time for calm emotions, but I am not... <laughs> that you're the new Solanus. <laughs> <laughs> I did yeah, not so... prepare calm emotions, unfortunately. <laughs> that would have been a good choice. Um, Give me a persuasion check. All right, persuasion. Twenty three. As you're sitting there. You may be doing, I don't know if you want to do one of these things like snapping like in her face or something like that, or if you're trying to get in her face, trying to get her to focus on you. I mean, he's going to try to be very respectful because he is assuming she must be some kind of powerful entity if Arwenus was getting her powers from her. Uh, so he's just kind of like offering a little bow. And then when he sees that she's in shock, he'll just kind of gently put his hand over her hand. Um, to try to like calm you. Who is that? Who? Are you okay? What's what's going on? Why are you after the tomb? Why don't you tell us? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to cast Detect Thoughts. I'm going to flick my medallion and just kind of like feel her surface thoughts. Sheer panic and scared. Does she know who she is? Yes. Does she know where she is? Yes. Okay. So if I understand correctly, uh, your name is Verana. Do you have a title? Is it Miss Verana? Or 
How would you like us to call you? Farana, Farana's fine. <laughs> so if I understand correctly, you've been trapped in pods for how long? Time. Time is a mystery. A couple thousand years, I think. She's even older than you are, Ernest. She's like, gonna smack you. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Looking pr pretty good for that age. That's not what she looks like. Yes, this oh, is no. our it's... friend's body. Oh. Huh. They have switched switch places. Yeah. I saw her. She had white hair. Red eyes. Red eyes. Yes. She, she is very powerful. She didn't have to frighten you. That's not good. Well, we and know she destroyed she's... those cards. It's with your spotties. And that's what pulled you into the dagger. That's what pulled. She switched our bodies and pulled Fane. Well, Fane into the dagger, her from the cards to Fane's body. Yes. How oh, happened so fast? I, I try. What? So, my magic that I was trying to prevent that from happening, it caused the body switching part. I was trying to keep her from going into the body, but it ended up switching our bodies. You you said the cards are destroyed now? Yes. Okay. If we could get the dagger back, can you switch? If we also need the stuff for the ritual, though. Can I ask a question? Is this this? And he hands it to both Arwenis and Verana to look at at the same time. Are these the items you needed to get yourself out of the cards? All right. Uh, as y'all turn to the BPT. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> it's the BPT. Where did it go? Uh-huh. I did not BPT. open any windows. <laughs> nope. You see this letter. You can read for yourselves. No, this isn't the same list. This is something different. Is anybody reading this out loud? Uh, I'm still trying to load it. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. I'm also, I'm also, I'm also, I'm also sharing quiet. it to the stream. So. But no, I, I, I understand. I, no, for as like, Kalis, oh, yeah. as against oh, yeah, Kalis. Kalis. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Already evidence is, today. but not intentionally. She is just reading it because she's not that great of a reader. <laughs> so somebody Ooh. read it out loud. Okay. This is. It's it's, it's one weird. page and then yeah, a second okay. page. So don't read okay. all the way across. Okay. Cut at the middle. Okay. Yeah, it's cut it's... in the middle. Sorry, right. I, I should have did a better job of <laughs> separating okay. it. My bad. It's okay. It took it me a second, great. but we yeah. got there. All right. So it says, to my lieutenants, I need the following items for the ritual is needed. I have already procured the bloodstone dagger. Send this out to your people and promise them great riches and power for who brings me one of the items. Beware the Tome of Shadows is in the hands of a powerful half-orc. Items needed. Tomb of Shadows. The Soul Amulet. The shadow orb and the cursed sensor. This is this the command of your leader, and you will obey. This is my order, seeker of souls. That's supposed to be. This is the command of your leader. Yeah. I. It's a typo. My bad. It's okay. Sometimes when you're okay. writing these old timey it's... letters with a quill, like you don't always write perfectly yeah, what yeah, you don't want. Worry about to much. <laughs> <laughs> Those aren't what you needed to get Verona out of the car. Not quite, no, but the 
Room of Shadows, I'm guessing this is the book that Verona has now, was what Fane had before they switched. It's what we needed to get Verona out of the cards. Because I needed the tome, but it was nothing with the soul amulet, like and the shadow still, orb. Uh, Verena is still holding this tome to her chest. Fine, you can keep that. It, don't, don't worry, no one's going to take it from you. I can't Tonight? Open it. Mm -hmm. Huh? I can't open it. You can't open it. Is it locked? I try? Are you not strong enough? Because Providence could probably open it for you. Could, could it might your be magical friend down. open it when she was in her own body? Yes. Fangdy could, yeah. Mm -mm. I saw her do it. No? She couldn't open it? I thought she did. I, th I thought I this used it. This is not the same tome. Oh, okay. It's not the same tome? Oh. Okay. Oh. That tome is uh -oh. destroyed, along with the cards. So this is a new tome. Oh, no. Mikra, that other tome was to get her out of the cards, mm -hmm. but when the cards were destroyed, that other tome was destroyed. Along with so the this, is a, this is a Hold whole other tome. thing. Yeah. Nico, Nico and Glitch, do either of the two of you have the ability to cast Identify? Yeah. That's why I was offering to take a look Ew. at the here. <laughs> I can't do anything. If you need me to look at any any magic things, let me know. We might need you to. It looks like this tome and then the mace, I guess. Okay. For sure. There's like a scraping noise as Kalis is dragging that body. You want so little buddy? Who's doing just what? Out well, of the body. I'm, I'm just trying the, to get it out of the hallway. The it body's in already it in the bedroom. In the room. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! It's in, in the yeah. bedroom. Then never mind. Yeah. He's just kind of like moving it to a corner. Is is his armor still wearable or fixable? I think you checked last time. Um, but like, but I thought that was enough. Potentially using mending or yeah, it needs to be mending because it's definitely crushed. But it definitely has insignias of mm -hmm. that dagger mm -hmm. that has been in all your visions. But it's half plate. It is. It's half plate. Yeah, so <laughs> yeah. it's partially melted half plate. Yeah, it's melted, dented. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Mending. I'm not so, gonna but, wear it. But when you when you're looking at, it, you definitely feel like you need to take it to a very skilled armorer to do so because mending only does minor fixing. But what if is, I spend like an hour and cast mending sixty times? It isn't only repairs glitch? minor stuff. Fine. Okay. Isn't isn't glitch like a armor making kind of guy or is that I don't his know. Thing? I just met him like no. earlier today. No. Oh. I don't no. know what artificers are. No. Like, I don't either. <laughs> he, can more, he can chant stuff. <laughs> got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Got it. Um. Well, she's trying not to throw up from drinking so much. <laughs> We should probably. And he's not really dressed. So. Neither is Kalis. No. Yeah. So, Ver so what are y'all doing? Verana. Who's doing what? Verana, tonight, perhaps. I don't know if we'll stay here or if we'll stay elsewhere, but uh, perhaps I can offer some magical protection in our sleep if you stay close to me. That, that would be wonderful. I, I don't want her here. Shh. I, well, I, 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 I kind of, I just put my hand on your shoulder. I don't say anything. I just, I'm just trying to be a comforting presence. Isam, before we do anything else, can you speak with the dead guy? I can, but I only get five questions. So I want to make sure I know okay. everything before I do that. Everything possible. And and Providence tomorrow, if you like, I can um I can cast message and maybe we can we can try to talk to Fane. Or not message, uh sending. Sending. Okay. Yeah. Maybe. Can I ask you a question, Providence? Sure. 
the woman with the red eyes. What was her name again? Uh, do I know this? I don't know. But she's um, she's the sister of. It's a possibility Craven. that that is the sister. It Craven. might be the sister of Craven. Yeah. And she's never actually threatened you, has she? Not directly. I she, never... I think she took over my body once and tried to kill others and a bunch of other people. But her goal is not to harm you, correct? I don't know. She's been kind of scary. Right. Um, Jugen, is she the one that I've been seeing in my dreams? If from my entire backstory? Yes. I, I'm sure she means me no good. She's been terrorizing me at night for years. She means the world no good. But you specifically, she doesn't want harm, correct? She's been hunting me. I don't know why. If, if I understand what she does correctly, maybe her goal isn't to hurt you, but to turn you. What do you mean? To make you like her. She's not strong enough. Isa, I'm just kind of like, gives her a flat, unconvinced expression, but doesn't say anything. <laughs> but as it stands right now, we have one dead body. Yeah, but we're going to throw it out the window once we take everything off of it. I guess I'm just I'm, I'm taking stock. <laughs> we have one Is dead body. How you usually dispose of bodies. That's how you guys said we were going to do it earlier. I'm just following your lead. I'm new. Also, are you like the courier from Skyrim? Is that what you are? <laughs> uh, only so much better. <laughs> much better ed educated. <laughs> Where like you can like follow anyone at high speeds like into the most insane situations and you're just like right there and nothing yep <laughs> absolutely i have never failed to deliver a package or parcel hmm. so when was the very first time you saw this dad bane and i saw it before we were, I think we were in East Haven. We're close to. And we're in East Haven right now, correct? No. no where were we? we? No, the, no, the first the time you saw it was in your dark session. Yeah, yeah but, where was that? I thought that was East Haven. No, Lutton? you weren't in East Haven. It was that small fishing village. Was it Lutton? I think so. It was the one south. Yeah, yeah probably Lutton. Or port something. One of the ports. Small ports. Yeah. Not here. In the area, though. Let me see. Yeah. And you came across it in a dream or in reality? I think it would. You woke up and it was had that uh, job listing you were looking for. It was. Right. Yeah. 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 It... We found it. I had. Bane and I, we, we'd often go and we would pick up odd jobs. Um, and one of the things we would do is we would take the job posting off of the wall because we were going to take it. We didn't want anybody else to take it. Um, and so we did that. And then the next morning, we saw the dagger stuck into a wall with the posting. And that's where we first saw it. So perhaps the dagger found you, not you finding it. And that's why I've been trying to get rid of it every time I, I can. And the only voice you ever hear is that woman's voice, not, nothing else. I mean, I hear lots of people's voice, but do you mean in my dreams, chasing me and trying to hunt me down? Just her. I mean, from the dagger. Yes. Hmm. 
what what town are we in right now? Are we in East Haven or where are we at? You're on the outskirts of yeah, you're on the outskirts of East Haven. I forgot what the tavern we named it. The the something dragon something. I forgot what it was. But um Is the goblin know. guy still here? The goblin guy? Goblet. Mr. Oh, the Mr. Honorable. He took his own room, but you don't know which room he's in. He's, he's a heavy sleeper he's, too. He's pretty old, so he slept right through that fight. He's cuddling with Birdo right now. <laughs> <laughs> Birdo oh, is that? severely drunk. Mm. Will be severely hungover in the morning. Yeah. So ever since that moment, the dagger's been haunting your dreams, but it only appeared in person again when we were in that basement with all those dead bodies. I have been seeing it since we were in those cages. It was real. But, but not real to anyone but you. Yeah, we got a yes. code word for if anybody saw it. But when you, when you found it in the basement, all of us saw it. Yes. Yes. And then how did it get back into her hands? It went into her skin. Kayla's right into do, 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 do. into the hands of the seeker of souls. If that's what we're gonna call her. Seventeen. From your vision, you remember seeing the dagger literally get pulled out of Fane's arm into the hands of her. She she has the dagger. Good, it's not here. It's not here. Good. We do need it back. Providence is where Fane is. Fane is gone. She's... Fane, Fane, is, Fane, Fane is still alive. Fane, Fane is still alive in that dagger. We can get her back. Providence can still use her magic. As long as Pro not Providence, Arnus can still use her magic. The as Fane as still is still alive. It's when she cannot use her magic. This when we need to be really, really worried. Let's hope that never happens until we get her out. These other three items. Has anybody heard of them? Mystery checks? Or not? <laughs> It'd be super high DC, but yeah. Uh, has anybody looked at the Tome of Shadows yet? I know you were talking about casting. No, she's got a clutch. Well, she's clutch. So she no, she she handed it over to Arnus. Yeah, Arnus. So I oh. have it. Yeah, I have um, it. I'd, I'd probably be I eyeballing try it. Look at it. I'll try looking at it and yeah. see. What you hold in your nope. hand is a solid black leather binding. And it's just kind of like engraved in the leather. It's just kind of like smoke. Uh, and y'all play Boulder's Gate 3. Most of y'all have. You remember the book... Uh, Thing, Thray, or whatever that has that fucking little oval thing you're supposed to put with the big mouth, with the big mouth, uh -huh. something so the like that. Gun. Yeah, uh, there's a circular area right in the middle of the book. There's no teeth or nothing like that. It's just a circular area, and you see at the bottom, written in shadows of this engraving, the Tome of Shadows. Well, you know, what language is it written in? What languages do you read? Actually, yeah, that's a good point. What uh, what languages do you read, Arnus? Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I read Druid, Druidic, Dwarvish, Elvish, and I don't think that makes sense. Primordial and common. Yeah, you don't know what it is. What about Nico? One second. Um, Actually, let's just make it simple. Who can read demonic? Demonic. I can read abyssal, well, which is abyssal, basically demonic. Yeah, abyssal. Yeah. I can read, and, and, and I can also read infernal. Yeah, uh, which is devil. So it's written in abyssal. Demonic -ish. Okay, it's written in abyssal. 
And and I am kind of eyeballing it now that it's out of Verona's yeah. hands. So, yeah. so it, weirdly, it's... Providence can read this. Yeah. <laughs> so anybody that knows Abyssal can read it, and it okay. says Tome of Shadows. I... And it's latched on all down in metal. And uh, uh, Providence, you did your magic stuff? Yeah. So uh, if it, how long does it last? A minute? I don't remember. I think so. Well, I'll give it to you anyway. So as you did that, you, you, uh, the mace and then the book, um, <laughs> I'll let you read it out last time. <laughs> uh, but when you look at this book, you can see the whole thing's magical, but you see like lines from the latches to the circle of part on top of the tone with your ability. Okay. So How without... the hell do you know 11 languages? Holy shit. <laughs> I'm oh, because you're a knowledge domain cleric? <laughs> <laughs> then she gets a bunch from being a ranger, too. So yep. So Providence is just like, can I see the Book of Shadows, please? Yeah, go for it. I have no idea Or Tome of Shadows. But, yep. And she just starts tracing her fingers along those lines. They lead right to that void of the circle in the middle of the book. I wonder if we need the shadow orb to open it. It's like, is it roughly orb shaped? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> so she's looking. She's looking to see if there's any like any like clear opening ways. And if she can't find anything, she's just try to try to brute force it open. You hold one, wisdom. and I'll hold the other. Give yeah. me wisdom saving throw. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh <laughs> Seven. Oh, oh shit. shit. I this is why I need take, calm emotions. <laughs> I need everybody to take their headsets off except Providence. And meet yourselves. Oh. Providence, as you pick up this tome, as you try to use your brute strength, you feel this black imagery come to your head. You see yourself in the middle of a dark forest where you see a battle angel fighting this dem demonic massive demon. It crushes her as she is sealing this person entity into a void. Can I, can I, can I act at this point? It's like a rush of vision right now. Okay you see as if the shadows flash forward as you're brought like almost you're not sure time is weird you see a circle engraved you see the sensor laid in the middle of this circle it looks like a sensor you see an orb as this person that was described to you has been haunting your dreams, opened up the book, starts reading from it. Just reading from what's in this book as the portal opens and out steps this entity. And you get shot back Take 10 points of psychic damage. And everybody can put their headsets back on. Everybody good? Can everybody hear me? Yes. Weasel, can you hear me? All right, cool. I, gi I gave the thumbs up earlier, sorry. As you yeah. see, as you see Providence just willingness, you visibly see her eyes go black and immediately shot back to the back of room and the tone drops to the ground. Yeah, this oh maybe you should shift your the text thoughts to Providence. Roop. Oh I'm my. focusing on her now. 
what is Providence thinking? Um, holy shit, holy shit, what was that? Holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, what was that? I put my hands on her shoulders. You're okay. I, I, saw, I saw her. There was a circle, a, a sensor inside. She, she created a portal and, and something came out. It was in a forest. Ow, it really hurts. Oh god, my head. Oh. Um here, may may I? I'm gonna come forward and just hold my hand out. I was like, I have already got my hands on her and I'm just gonna yeah. use lay on hands. Sure. How much do you need? Uh I'm less than half. Twenty-five? Well, sure. Damn, man. I mean she we're just... getting ready to sleep. We're getting she ready just... to sleep. Yeah, yeah, uh, she just took for everybody's sake, she just took ten points of psychic damage. But uh, we also were in combat. Yeah, yeah. too. That's yes. right. It's like so yeah, you just got twenty five back. Thank you. Hmm. Oh. Did you really need help, Arvanus? I am pretty hurt, yeah. Well, I mean hopefully we don't have to fight again. Um Isam will kind of like uh, I mean, do you, are you asking me some? Or yeah, you that'd just... be great, yeah. Okay. Uh, his, like, Providence, you'll notice his hands glow exactly the same way that yours do whenever you are using your healing ability, like, identically. Um, so, are you he... part paladin, too? He just kind of, like, looks at you. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> It's better than nothing, and she's going to appreciate it. Look <laughs> at all those ones! Um, all right. Uh, then I will Can I go also... to bed? Yeah. I'm we done that. now. We still have to talk to the body, Glitch just dude. walks by and heals Arminus for... Just walks by, taps her on the head for ten. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Glitch. Yeah, uh, I'm good now. you... I'm good now. Okay, well, I won't do that then. Okay, we still need to talk to the body, and then we should go to bed. Did we put the book in the bag? That might be smart as well. Maybe we should have Nico identify these things. I can check him out. Well, you said... Oh, did you read the into the, the the weird wording on it since I couldn't understand it. Yeah, it was a t tome of shadows is fine. Yeah, so, it's so it's literally the, the name of the name of the book. Yeah. So that's on the list. Well, so I would assume it's on the list because they came for it. But not every tome shoots people across the room when they try to open it. So I'll just have to make sure I'm already sitting against the wall, and then I won't get thrown. Just don't try to open it. Well, eh, we'll see. Probably. I, I think I could probably open if I had a second chance, though. Maybe maybe start <laughs> sitting against the wall. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that you should encourage her, Nico. Okay. <laughs> you all hear in your heads. Thank you for letting me know where you are at. Well, we gotta go. Oh, hey! The no. bright one. Thank you. Oh, for... Now that my brother is dead, nothing can stop me now. You have an item that I wish to need. Run. No, you come here. <laughs> I I think Robert's... she is. <laughs> she just said her brother was dead. You guys know her Is brother? this guy her brother? That no, would I be think this is the same Craven. person we're thinking. It we were trying Craven. to save Craven. Craven. I even oh, had a no. plan to save him. Oh, no. Well, the hot guy's dead. <laughs> if we can get his body back. <laughs> There may be a way to bring him back too. Hmm. 
All right, so here I think we have two options right now. If we want more time here, I can cast uh, Lehman's Tiny Hut around us uh, and stay here, or we can relocate, uh, but I think we should take the body to question it. Yo, 100%. Yeah, 100%. Can you put it in the bag? We can we put to... it in the bag? The body? Do yeah. we need the body? Yes. Yes, or... I need or... the body. Do we or... just take the head? Do we just need the yeah. head? Yeah. Up again. I think maybe I maybe a good chunk of the neck too. Body, speak with dead. The corpse must still have a mouth. Okay. <laughs> so we only need the lips. Gotcha. Uh the spell <laughs> fails. Um, blah 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 blah. I don't blah. disguise yourselves because you just did kill this guy too on top of it. So I yeah, I, and I was gonna try to. My plan was to try to do it without you guys in the room, and I was gonna try to get JP to help, but he's not here. Um, JP's hungover. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, we're just gonna leave him asleep while like what's your face comes to kill us all. <laughs> um, so do you guys want to stay here? Or do you guys want to relocate elsewhere? I don't, I don't like the guy, but the honorable guy. Yeah. He, he said, I, th I think we could go to his organization. It, yeah. How far know. away from East Haven are we? We're, we're close. Close enough to get there before sunrise? I, I think so. You're, you're in East Haven. You're just on the outskirts by the farm. It's, it's, it's like, yeah, we're just, we're just on the outskirts. Yeah. It's like, Will they let us? Will they let us in at night? Like, is it a walled city? I don't know. I've never been there. Oh, you just gotta bribe him, bribe your way in. Do we have money? Does, does he even? Does Actually, he have a? Kayla's just straight up goes. What's a bribe? <laughs> it, it, uh, it's uh, when you I people put up, up. You don't you have mean. official map before above table. This is what East Haven it looks like. Um, there's a key and everything. You can move it, but. You're essentially on the other side of the fields up north. Okay. Look, East Haven's just uh, a corrupt city. Y you can you can kind of just Is there pay money a and, and get your way, whatever you need. It's a very pretty city. Is there a library in East Haven, by any chance? If you look at the keys, it should tell you. I mean, it doesn't tell you every building in all of East Haven. Okay, just... so there he does he he did make everything <laughs> the, the the important stuff. So I helped him. So but the so above table, the above table, the <laughs> Institute of Wizardry has a massive library. Sweet. That's oh. the school for wizardry. Yeah. <sighs> but that's above table, right. so you don't know that. Um. All right, yeah. guys. Do we want to make the Liam and Sunny Hut here? Do we want let's to just, relocate to Order of the Goblet's place? Let's just what do you stay here do? for the night. I think she knows that we're here, and even if I create the the Liam hut, as soon as she, yeah, we'll be trapped with who knows how many people around us. That's well, the then downside. We've got to go. We need to get the uh, Sir Frederick too. Yeah, I also need to get dressed. Yeah. Can we both can we fit this guy's Lynch. dead body into the bag of holding? Uh we can fit his head in it. We can chop him up into a little bit. Well, cause I just What's like that? take the bag and I start at the head. But I'm trying to wiggle it down. <laughs> I think it opens wide enough, right? Has a twenty five uh -huh. opening. If it's ever stuck, Providence will start like bending body parts to get it to fit. <laughs> Just jam it in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but my question is, does anybody have anything to preserve the body? Uh, uh, it, I, something like I do that. not have that spell uh, selected right now because, like, there's I think 5, I can prepare spells. it tomorrow. I can prepare it tomorrow too, but. Hopefully it won't Perfect. completely decompose. And it won't decompose hours. over. Yeah. I don't hours. know. The other ones turned to ash. Who knows? Well, I feel like if that was going to happen, it would have. I really hope real not. Mm 
I can cast Shield of Faith on it. Covered in grease. So my uh, plan for for Craven was we were gonna have him kill himself, and then I was gonna cast Gentle Repose on him, and then we could get him out of there and bring him back with Revivify. If you watch the Black Order, you know what happened to Craven. I didn't watch the Black Order. Yeah, I did. No spoilers. Yeah, I'm trying to remain spoiler free here. Um, um, I can make sure that the body has no poisons or diseases in it. Uh, so for Perfect. simplicity purposes, so we don't go crazy over this. What happened? I had the name. I had a ruckus. Like you see, John Pierre walk in. He's just all like hung the fuck over. Is there a cup of water? I burned. Splash on him. He's like, here's a cup of water. Stop. <laughs> I'm bringing him in so he can cast a Kai disguise self on Nissan. Oh, so okay. he can just do it? Yeah. I don't think um, this guy ever back. I don't think this do guy we... ever saw Esau. Do we want to He saw him in the hall? Do we want to do this here or do we want to relocate to another space? Since you know what? What's your I'll, face I'll allow coming? it. I'll allow he didn't see Esau. I'll allow it. So Job okay. here still okay. passed out. Well, we're so, gonna relocate. Yeah. So do you want? Mm -hmm. Do you yeah. want me to do speak with the dead before we relocate, or yes. after? We should yes. do that pronto. Before. Just do it now. Yes. Here, we'll, okay, we'll, while I go get, I, I just dump the body back out of the bag. Yeah. And then I'm gonna go get. Kalis, Kalis. Yes. What exactly did you see in your vision? I saw the lady with the white hair and the red eyes. She was standing next to this tree. She had the dagger. Um, and then I could sense that Thane was inside the dagger. And I, I just, I just know that we have to have that dagger back. Something Brana? terrible is oh. going to happen. Verana, did you sense anything else in the dagger when you had contact with Fane and the dagger? Are you clarify? Are you like asking if there's anybody else in the dagger? I'm asking Verana if she sensed someone else in the dagger. I know. I'm asking Fane. for clarification. Okay, so I'm yeah, asking for yeah. Yeah. Not at the time. I don't know if she's got anybody else in there. Now did she just shunt people in there. I don't she, think she. Uh, after I ask my questions, maybe I'll have a better idea. You want us to leave so you could do that with Alice around? I think that's probably wiser. Well, uh, how about okay. you just take the body out of the hallway, and everybody stays in their rooms until it's done? Because this is Providence's room, and I'm sure she probably needs to pack. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it back to me and Kalis's room. How about that? And you can help her pack and get your clothes on. Yeah, I'll just grab all of my stuff. Okay. All right. And I just put my hand on your shoulder. Good luck. And then I walk out. All right. Isam prepares speak with dead. He like takes a deep breath, his eyes turn black and he exhales and his breath is like this cloud of black that kind of like snakes through the air and enters into the body of the the evil cleric guy and if it works then he would sit up with his eyes black as well is anybody in the room with you or is it just you i think it's just me right okay. you that's what you asked for okay sitting there waiting 
right. Isam speaks in Inferno and he says, Inferno? I wish we had been. Yeah. What a pistol. He seemed like he seemed, or, hmm. Yeah. Maybe I should so just do common, huh? <laughs> 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 All right. I won't do Inferno then. Uh, I don't know. Like the imps made me think maybe Inferno. Oh, where are y'all uh, getting imps at? Because when he did his uh, spirit guardian oh. spell, there were imps all over the place. Yeah. Uh, and that, I was like, okay. That was me improvising, like, what would be a nice little evil creature to get in there? <laughs> yeah. So I thought maybe Inferno instead of Abyssal. Yeah. But yeah, I'll, I'll just do common then. Um, thank you for your return. I apologize for the inconvenience. I wish we had been able to talk in life, but I'm glad to have you here, if only for a moment. I need your help with something. Where is Malik? Get no response. Actually, I'll give you a response. Because I'm thinking the last time he saw him, would he respond with that? Or is he currently, does he know? He does not know currently where he is at. So he'll say that. I do not know. These items. But he definitely, he definitely answers like he knows who that is. Yeah. These items you're seeking for a ritual, who are they trying to set free? Power low. I want to see if I haven't decided if he knows. Uh, hi. Souls. Did he say eater of souls? Yes. I'm writing that down. I will hope you're writing this stuff down. <laughs> <laughs> That's two. Fuck. I have like 30 questions. Um <laughs> Just like Boulder's Gate 3. <laughs> <laughs> we need the head so I can ask him questions in seven days. Um, <laughs> no, it's 10 days. Uh, it's a 10 oh, day shit. Wait uh, I thought about fucking going... with you and say they yeah, it was yeah. cast on him before, but then I was yeah. like, never mind. Uh, he's going to say, <laughs> where are the other items? on your list. Tom of Shatters was just in my grasp. That's all he says. <laughs> so I guess if I've cast this spell before, is it safe to assume that he doesn't know where the other ones are if he only answered with just one? Because I asked the other items, not just one item. Yeah, you only asked about one. all of them. You, it would probably yeah. be safe to assume he probably doesn't know about the others. Or where at they least are. their location, anyway. Where do you think Malik is now? Beside her. I'm going to kill him again. <laughs> <laughs> That's four. I 
There's one question I was hoping you would ask, but you haven't asked it. I don't know what it is. Can't think of anything else. I mean, I know what I want. I have like 10 questions I want to ask, but I can't think of what it might be that you're thinking. And what I was going to ask is probably not it. What are her weaknesses? It didn't come through the microphone. Oh. She has none. She what? Has none. Well, that was fucking useless. All right, I'm going to chop his head off. Yeah, right. I was thinking you might ask, like, who is he work for or anybody else in the hierarchy of this group or whatever. I mean, yeah, those were on the list. Because, I, because and if you I think have about a lot. It, yeah. Because if you think about, like, a criminal organization or evil cult, yeah. there's layers. There's, I want like, very yeah, I wanna... low. I gave you a little bit of extra. I was being very generous. Yeah. But he's a little bit lower on the totem pole. I, I wanted to ask him who he was. I wanted to ask him some other questions about, I had a whole bunch of questions I wanted to ask, but I ended up, I didn't even ask the ones that I had originally, like when I sat down and wrote down the questions, I got. Always I happens, man. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to saw his head off um, while everyone else is packing. Mm. Uh, and uh, I, if glitches around, I'd be like, is there any way you could like cauterize this so it doesn't, bleed everywhere and maybe we could save this for later as you cut as you chop off his head as you noticing it now after doing this dead uh, <laughs> he doesn't his blood is black not traditional red is he a changeling too do the changeling have black blood Changelings turned back into their normal form when they died. Uh, that's true. That's true. Hmm. Can I do a medicine or arcana check to see if I have any clue what that might sure. mean? Sure. Which do you prefer, arcana or medicine? I have proficiency. Your choice. In neither. Your choice. Right. Medicine. I just clicked on it. Uh, do you have a determination? Though? I have no D. I'm, I clicked on it, didn't do anything, so I'm going to roll an actual die. Ah, and that one on the floor. It landed on a 15 plus 5 for a dirty 20. Dirty 20? Uh, which one did you yeah. roll? Uh, medicine. Medicine. Um, he has lots of iron in his system. Yeah, I've been all these we did Arcana. All right, uh, you, given your history and the people you've worked for previously, get doing like your medicine and your cleric -y stuff in your previous group. Some make pets. And part of that pet is turns their blood black. Is it possible that he's also like living like forever or something like that? Like really old? No. Right. no. I actually, I'll give you this. With your medicine check, because you roll a 24, right? No, a dirty 20. So it was a dirty 20. 20. Okay. Uh, I'll give you this. Uh, with that, the far as the skin, as you're looking down, he had mortal wounds. You probably gathered that he was brought back before. Okay, yeah, definitely taking the head. 
With that being said, let's go ahead and take a tenner, 10 minute break. And then y'all can talk about during break what y'all want to do and where you want to go from here. Guys, we're going to take a little break and I uh, hope you're enjoying the deep lore and everything. So uh, we'll be back, guys. Enjoy some clips. Cool. Yeah, who gets to try to recap all this next week? All right. Well, uh, we're coming back a little early. We're not fully back yet. I just <laughs> want to thank Zafoon for the five gifted subs, my friend. Uh, Old Man Garris, Shootin', Silver Wolf, uh, Elfing Eyes, and JR the Nerd got a gifted sub. Thank all you. Wonderful, lovely people. Thank you, Zafoon. And you rolled a 52. So uh, there's something going to be dropping out of the bag of holding. Uh, when we actually get back in session. Do y'all uh, want to come uh, back in session now? I mean, <laughs> might as well. Might as well, yeah. We're all here. All right. Welcome I've back, already guys. Kalis, where are you at right now? Just be careful, uh, there might be heads in there. Did what? Well, I, weren't, we, weren't we stuffing a bunch of heads in there? Weren't you I guess this room? one. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I've you like, come back into the room and like, I'm like, 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 I'm we're, like picking, we're, so basically we're picking back up when Jay, cause like everything that happens at the same time, y'all run off to go pack and change and all that stuff. Uh, yeah. Assam is, while well, Assam is doing his speak with dead, was everybody else doing? So at the same time, Assam's in the room doing his speak with dead, was oh. everybody else doing? I Shook would go into son. Glitch and Jean-Pierre's room so I could put my armor on. Mm-hmm. And get and it as adjusted. You, as you do that, as you set your back of holding down, you don't know if you set it down like weirdly or something, but this like gray ish potion of some sort that pops out of the bag of holding. You don't know what color it is. You just know that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, everybody else is in the room, so Glitch sees this happen. So, Glitch, you see. A gray colored potion pop out of the bag of holding as he sets it down. Give me an Arcana check, Glitch. Oh, we'll definitely. Oh, okay. Pick it up. Yeah, pick it up and look at it. It's like, well, that's different, maybe. Twelve. I'll give it to you. It is a potion of a stone giant strength. Okay. Whoa. And that's what Safon, Safoon, I'm sorry, Safoon got for you for those five good subs. Thank you, my friend. Sweet. <laughs> Where'd you get a potion of stone dry giant? I don't know. Maybe I think it's I think it's one hundred like a potion of Found it. You got it? Cool. Potion <laughs> uh... of stone giant strength. I just wrote stone giant and it popped up. You can also put it in the re yeah. rewards too if y'all want to help keep track of it that way too. Our little. Yeah. Uh, I don't sheet. know. Maybe it was something that was Manny. in the bag already. Manny stole a bunch of shit. I was like, Manny <laughs> did steal a bunch of shit. <laughs> May he rest in peace. He might be alive. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got some breathing time. We need to dump that thing out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not right now. As I help tighten up your cummerbund or whatever you wear. <laughs> or Clyde piece, that's it. So, uh... <laughs> What is Providence, is Nico, and Aranis doing? Uh, I'm sure we all went in Nico's room, I guess. No, we we're still in our room. Well, that's where Jr. was or Isam was no. going to speak with that. No, he dragged no. it into Kalis's room. That's that's uh, why I left the room. Got yeah. it. My bad. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah we played musical we're rooms. Getting, <laughs> yeah. We're getting ready to go. I'd probably just grab my stuff and wait in the hallway for everyone. Uh, Prue is pretty used to um, <clears throat> packing and leaving quickly, so her stuff is already ready to go. Um, likely she is 
She has her great sword out. It's like point end on the ground. She's kind of like leaning on it. It is glowing. A little bit. No, she's like more like leaning on it. Like she's actually like up both arms, kind of leaning forward on it. And she's kind of just staring, uh, both arms like this. Yeah. Yeah. And she's kind of like just staring over at um, at Verana. Uh, Arwenis is probably just getting her stuff ready, kind of finally strapping on her scimitar that she has. Putting her uh, crossbow back on her back. She doesn't have much right now. <sighs> Providence, are you okay? No. We'll get her back. I want her gone. I, I know. Are, are you saying this for Verena? Verena? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Verona sees the sustain on your face and steps out the door and shuts it behind her. I'll give her a little wake. the reason Fane got hurt. Not quite, I believe. Did she give her the cards? Is is that where her powers came from? Is she the one that put her in danger all the time? I don't know. I never actually got to talk to Fane about that. Or Verana. But Verana gave me my powers. You shouldn't take them. Well, I have to take them now. It's tied to Fane's life now. As long as I have these, we know Fane's alive. Once I lose my powers, Fane's in trouble or dead. So keep that in mind, okay? As you can see, her little pseudo dragon finally set on her shoulder. Yep, by the way. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Nova's adorable. She she's very cute. She has her temperament. Y- yes, I know. Just just be careful, okay? Oh, of course. If I survived these last two years in prison. Fighting the arena. With you guys, we can do just about anything. As long as we work together. Okay? If she harms Fane at all, if she anything happens she to won't. Fane, I am going to end her. She she wouldn't do that. I don't think she's evil. My powers don't feel evil. It doesn't mean she's good true, but that could be said for anyone. We all make mistakes. We all make choices. It's part of being having free will. I'll trust you. I appreciate that. Just That's be careful. I'll, I'll be careful when you be careful. I don't need to be careful. You need to be careful. If I have to be careful, you gotta be careful. Fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah thank you. Okay. You ready to go? Because I'm ready now. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. Just just tolerate her. You don't have to like her. That's fine. But just civil. That's all I ask. Also, just be careful with the new one. She seems like a heartbreaker. Yeah, she's cute and all, but I don't swing that way. It's fine. Okay. What? We'll cut over to uh, Nico that's in the hallway as Rana steps out and shuts the door behind her slowly. Hi. Were they being awkward in there? The Providence gave me like a look like she's going to kill me, so I stepped out. She gave me that look when she left the dinner table. It was great. I know exactly how that one feels. Yeah. Were you also flirting with Arwenus? Is that why she gave you the look? No. Okay, cool. Hmm. So... 
you have this book that you can't open. Do you know how to open, like, where to find the thing to open it? Uh, are you the super powerful half orc that was mentioned on that piece of paper? I mean, the book was in your possession. Well, I'm so supposed to be a genie, and I'm in Fiend's body, which is a half orc. I mean, you know, mm. you know, uh, uh, what's what's the term? Uh, process of elimination. Mm. That's fair. Cool, cool, cool. And she sparks some fire in her hands. Hmm. I can't do stuff. I love the blue hair. I love what you've done with it. Thank you. It's natural. I, I made... This is Fane's body, but my powers were giving Fane this look. As you see, she doesn't have the tusk. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I guess that's usually a thing for... Uh, for half works. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Uh, this is. Uh, what's your name again? I never. I, I don't know you. Oh, hey, I'm Nico. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I have a minus two to charisma. What do you expect from me right now? <laughs> well, I have a. Oh, you didn't say that in character. No, that was above table. Was <laughs> <laughs> well, she has a plus five in charisma because she is a uh, spellcaster yep. in charisma. So. Yep. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. This is uh, this is uh, wonderful. Um, uh, how long do you think they're gonna be? Uh, hopefully not too long. And I will just look down the hall and stop talking. Why don't you have feet? Why don't you have shoes on? Oh, I lost them playing poker. Kayla's yeah, cups, it was, like, it was, out. So it was strip poker, and I lost the shoes, but I had spare clothes. I just didn't have spare shoes, so. What's strip poker? Oh, hey, you're up. As Kalis is, like, walking out. Um, it's, do you know poker? It's a lot of fun. I'm oh, sorry, I'm not there. Do you, Kayla, uh, Kalis, do you know... <clears throat> Can't say that I do. Okay, it's a card game um, where you gamble, and strip poker is where when you lose, instead of losing money, you lose an item of clothing. Why? Uh, to make it more exciting. You wouldn't enjoy it as much as some people, but I don't imagine you're great at cards. <laughs> I've never played cards, so... Maybe. Yeah, they probably make some with like braille on on it or something. I should learn braille. I'm gonna learn braille. It's not that hard. It's just bumps. Yeah. Do you could could you teach me? Sure. Awesome. We're gonna be friends. I I can feel it. Are we? Yep. <laughs> uh oh. We can. You can teach me braille. We can get cards, and then we can play poker. Our witness is going to walk out of her door. She's ready now. Our witness, you can play poker you with us. Are you getting John Pierre up? Yeah, I'll get him. I'll, have to, I'll get all my armor butt back on. I'll grab, push him out the door. Well, uh, he's going to be passed out. He's still completely hungover. He drank too much. So you just, can't oh, have to carry just right, he didn't get up. Just drape him over my shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have... I can't... Pick. What can I do? I have zero negative. He doesn't strength, weigh that much. So. He's a bird. <laughs> yeah, just, just drape him yeah. over my shoulders. It's fine. Yeah, his so bones are sure I can't hollow. pick up an ostrich. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So like, he's not heavy to lift up. All right. Okay, we'll drag him out. Kalis has got him now. Here, I, I like <laughs> point scarf. his head away. <laughs> that that might be smart. He did drink a bit too much. Glitch, have you ever heard of strip poker? Yes. Just poker with clothes instead of money. Just do you keep the Play clothes? with people you're attracted just... to. Can't no, you take them off. Loser. Yeah. Naked person loses. Yeah. And everybody else wins because you get to look at a naked person. And then you just get more clothes? Yep. 
No, you just what see if, they, boobs what if they don't and nope, nope, and nope, that's nope, it. Nope, let's go. Let's go. Uh, if they don't you fit, then you Patrick, whatever you that's want. what it is. Now. You don't get to keep their clothes unless you do that in the beginning. Well, I've never played that version. Oh, they they kept mine. But if, you're, uh, but if you're a dwarf playing with an orc, I don't know why you'd keep each other's clothes. It'd never work. Well, because then they have to go home naked. It's better when everyone loses, though. Providence! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Are we ready? Isam? Yeah, we're, we're good. We're good to go. Isam steps... Isa steps out and he's got like this dripping head that he's holding by the hair. Um, Glitch, uh, is there a way that you could like maybe stop this bleeding and we could put this in Kalis's pack? Uh, I can Why do that you? for you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Verona. Oh. <laughs> she she puts rag? fire to Carterize to the other side. Oh, um, Why do you have you a Kalis, would you hold this for me, please? I... Same reason he you has do. you a, a head. <laughs> Warm. I like I... reach underneath Jean Pierre, <laughs> like grab the bag, and like. You know what? Never mind. Let's just grab Actually, Sir Honorable. Uh, why do you sorry, have Sir head? Frederick, and let's go. I I asked questions, but I didn't get everything I need. And also, he seems to have made a pact with. Uh, I believe, uh, if I read between the lines, someone called the Eater of Souls, and this isn't his first time dying. Um, so this will help us both potentially keep him dead, and maybe uh, in 10 days we can ask him more questions if we uh, <clears throat> if we preserve the I... head well. JR? I... Or not, sorry, not JR, Jugid. I don't know, what, Providence, what? I was wondering if I knew anything about an Eater of Souls. Same. Is that the thing? The thing? That you're talking about for your uh, dart session that arrived? No, that has been put away. By Astaria and the angel? Yes. The thing that's locked behind the stars. Oh. Did I give you a specific what vision at like way 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 back but I, I didn't give you a vision of what's behind the stars i just give you a vision of some of yeah okay uh you at this time do not know okay but but your mind goes there like instinctively but you do not you don't know if they're the, the two are connected i'm gonna roll a sleight of hand to make sure that my face doesn't show that Okay. Providence, it you're all you were asking about the same. <laughs> <laughs> I was me... raised in a temple as well. Yeah, give me a history check. Twelve. Twelve. You. You remember reading stories of some dark entity, but you do not recall the name. Um, you feel like you have to do more research on it. Ugh, research. I have an education. <laughs> I don't want to roll. <laughs> I, got a I got a natural 20 on the insight for a 28th. So what, to see Kalis... It, it's on Kalis's face. He knows something. You know this Eater of Souls. I know. Um, it, it, I mean, it's been mentioned in the temple, but it's not something that came up a lot. Your cult has knowledge of them. Church, not a cult. Uh, and maybe give me some time. Maybe, Lich, if if you're free tomorrow, you seem to be the smartest of us. Uh, we could spend some time at the library and 
they might know something about the Eater of Souls. I also wanted to investigate the history of some organizations if you're willing to help. Yeah, that sounds fun. How many more doors library. are in this hallway? <clears throat> There's three more on the other side. I'm just gonna one of like... them. One of them was Nico's, I think. Okay, I'm just gonna like crack each one slowly, Mister the Honorable. <laughs> Mister the uh, Honorable. Probably about the third door you get to. <laughs> the first Mr. two the are we are just. The first two are unlocked and nobody's in them. Oh, thank God. The third, <coughs> the third door That would locked. be awesome if you woke up some people. That would be the best. We've been yelling and fighting. Everyone yeah, I, except Mr. The Honorable. <laughs> he was on the other end of the hallway and he was very, very tired. Because remember when you got him, he was tied up and... You know. Oh, that's true, yeah. Mr. The Honorable. Are you knocking on the door or... Yes. This is less... I'm just doing process of elimination. I've thrown this door open. <laughs> it's time to go. What time is it? Fuck. Late Don't know. To go. But we need to get out now. Why, why we need to go? Because there is an evil lady after us, and we need to go. Uh, like Isam kind of. Like from the hallway, can he see into Isam and Kalis's room? Yeah, it would be across the hall. Yeah, Lisa is like Isam has left the door open, and he kind of like nods at the corpse that doesn't have a head. Yes. <laughs> it's like it's like <laughs> with black, like this black gunk, like oozing out of its body in a pool. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, signal it to the to uh, Sir Frederick. Yeah. yeah. Well, Sir Frederick is kind of just at the door and looking at you. He's not looking down the hallway. He doesn't see what you're pointing at, and he's just just woken up. So, uh, how about this? There was a fight. What? No, we it just doesn't matter. Boys. Get your shit. We need Let's to go. go. Grab your stuff. We need I to go that to word for Manny. <laughs> Well so done. You want to go to the majestic now? Yes, right. now, pronto, immediately. Okay. Post haste. Fuck. And he That's turns cool around because so you're as he turns around, it's working. <laughs> as he turns, as he turns around, you know those old timey uh, uh, underclothes. Oh no! Flaps. Does butt this flap. butt flaps down? <laughs> yes. He turns around. And I can't see it. <laughs> oh, you can if he turns around and he's still looking at us. And go. <sighs> that's my name of my. That's the name of my PlayStation account. But oh, they gotta butt have butt. this, and he he yep. does <laughs> a flick, is. and all his armor comes <laughs> on, just kind of like Iron Man. Wow. Oh, uh, really that. quick. Mm -hmm. Above table, does anybody need healing really quick before we go? I mean, I'm bleeding. Power. I can Honestly, do Providence power and I'm, 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 I'm good. I'm good. You healed me completely, and I appreciate it. I mean, I still but have a spell slot left. Providence is looking a little hurt still. I got to one. Be honest. I'm okay. In fact, I, I have some. I, I can heal too. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, okay, does anybody want to cure wounds? Yes, sure. no, going I'm once, twice. You go, you go. Still? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay, I clicked on it. I don't know where it went. Oh, here it is. Why do I roll ones all the time? Okay, that's six. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Maybe Nico, it's time for me to die. Nico, do you need more? Um, I can, I can heal myself more. Are you I'll sure? I'll take it. I mean, I, I, I'm all for sharing. Come here. I'll walk over. And she like grabs you like by the cheeks. She's like, she's like lay on hands. And then she casts healing hands. <laughs> yep. Uh, hold on. What did she give you? I'm going to uh, cast cure wounds on myself. Oh, where is this? The feature, not a spell. Hell yeah. It's 3d4 and I rolled like yeah. all ones and a two. <laughs> For the last <laughs> okay. I have one spell slot of each level Eight. left. Thank you. 
Uh, and Isam will be like, so you learned that you believe as a paladin to paladins. Oh, uh, holy war. She's, yeah, she's a paladin. Just like me. You're a paladin. I'm a holy warrior. I mean, I I didn't do the whole old thing. So you were only able to do that once you became a paladin. I mean, I've always been a holy warrior. Like I was, I was raised in the in the town. Okay. Just that's all he says. Hmm. Um, should we continue these conversations on Let's the go. road? <laughs> yeah, we should go, go, go. Okay. <laughs> right. uh, do you guys want to try and sleep while we while we go? Maybe in the, in yeah. the carriage? I just need four hours. I don't know how many I've gotten so far, but I just need four hours and then I can drive the rest of the way. How I mean, many hours? I don't think we we're four hours away. No. Well, I don't know we're how much we're in slept town. Last night. <laughs> we're blocked. How, how long did we sleep last night? Not long. Arnis, I'll let you have your four hours. It'll have been about four hours where you were interrupted. So, um, awesome. Anybody... So I can drive the whole way. You guys can sleep as long as we you need. So Arnis, you get off. You can take a long rest. Everybody else, give me a concentration check, please. Yeah. Or constitution save. Me. Sorry, yeah. constitution save. And you um, do have determination. I'm going to use my DM's inspiration. Oh, six. 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 Not roll. Six. Did you no roll? Don't give me right, definitions. Uh, oh wait, I can, I could use uh, inspiration, but I forgot. This so right your inspiration now. can be do. You can use it as a reroll as well. You can also use your determination that you have too. I don't have. Oh yeah, wait, do. I do have D. Yeah. I. You know yes. what? I'm gonna use the inspiration though because that also is only one and then done. So I'll do that. I got a 19. 21. Nice. 21. 16. 18. Much better. 18. Glitch, you got what? I'm refreshing the page because it just wants to tell me what constitution is over and over again. <laughs> yes. Wait, no, I don't. What? The... Yeah, working on it. Uh, make sure you don't have. Make sure you, you don't have. The number? Oh, my God. I mean, mm -hmm. a short rest would actually do nothing for me, so I probably shouldn't have. If that's what it was for, I probably shouldn't have. Yeah. Have. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. If you have your no, character it's sheet the... and VTT open, it'll mess things up. Yeah, yeah. What happens is uh, the VTT, when you click on that page, it'll show your role on the VTT, unless you've selected something in the VTT to... Uh, so click on the tab that has the map on it, and it'll show up in that tab when you do that. Yeah, I never opened it. Oh. Bullshit. All right. Um, uh, D20. I have a plus six to constitution. I'm rolling D20. It's, it's separate, showing right? up right eight. now. Do. Yeah, eight total? Yes. He rolled a two. Yep. I got a plus six. So, yep. There you With go. a Lego yes. dice set. Did you want to use that determination? Sense. Awesome. Well, it makes sense even if he's still drunk. Did you want to use your yeah. determination? I, yeah, I'm not doing well. Are you using your determination? Would I? There's Lego sure, dice. fine. Yeah. It'll add, what, a plus three? Four? I think it was a plus three. Plus six. Whatever so your proficiency bonus is, it'll 14. add it. Fourteen. So, fourteen total? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thankfully. So, oh, your proficiency yeah. is a plus what? So uh, he uh, determination is just adding your proficiency bonus. It's not a reroll. Oh, yeah. you use your inspiration oh, to reroll it. Sorry. Uh, so it would have been an 11 total. Is it's plus a plus three. three. Yeah. So yeah. total of? All right. 11. 11? 11. 11. Yeah. Numbers. You barely made yeah. so many numbers. So the DC was 10. You barely made it. Uh, all y'all, since it's so late at night, you're starting to feel the effects of just exhaustion. You're battling against exhaustion. You've managed to scale from not taking a level of exhaustion. But you're able to pile back into the carriage and uh, start heading into town. 
So glitch right. used a determination and Esom used an inspiration. Uh, yes. I got used yeah. the one I got from DM's inspiration today when I uh Okay, yeah. So yeah. I took it off. So I put that one on my character sheet. I didn't know that we even had a Yeah, it's in the uh Twitch reward spreadsheet. Uh, but we can only have one DM's inspiration, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's kinda okay, like okay. determination, you only have one. <laughs> Alright, so right now I'm tracking the only people that have determination is Gene, Providence. Kalis and Arnis. Yes. Do I have it? Esom has it. Got it. Esom has oh, yes, one. He did but and he it's just on used there. It. No, he, he used took... inspire. He used inspiration. Oh, I thought you also used it on top of. It. Okay, got it. Never mind. No, no. So only two people that don't have it right now is Glitch and Eco. Got it. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. I still got my D. It is like 9,000 degrees in my apartment right now. I just want you all to know that. It's warm. Yeah. I am drenched in. I sweats. finally, I finally have a big boy computer. Mm -hmm. And it's it a little heat. It's, uh, it's, it's a little now. warm underneath my. Actually, I have a window. I should probably uh, open it up. Oh, thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Uh, uh, I sold, gave me the, the D. That's great. Try to get rid of as much nice. video in my life as possible, so you can. I, I hate this. <laughs> you hate what? Nothing. Of the D jokes. The D? <laughs> the, the, the D jokes. What? There's nothing wrong with D jokes. It's a love hate relationship. <laughs> I don't know why my horse carriage is not there. Hey. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, as you pal into the cart, start heading into town. Do y'all have any conversations on the way into town? Or are y'all just trying to catch a short? They're going to be sleeping. We're just trying to rest. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Honorable Sir Honorable is where Frederick climbs on top right next to you, Arnus, because he got a little bit of a sleep. Let's see how he does. Ooh. No, no, he's got a feet. Yeah, so he's... <sighs> All right, uh, let's go into town. I have to guide you, tell you where you're going to go. Yeah, please do, since I've never been here before. Okay. Um, so you're only two awake, so if you want to have any conversations, you can. I'm going to let him know everything that happened that while he was sleeping. And what Kayla's told us, and Esau exactly told us. Which, him? Any, basically, any... the battle that we just had, how um, Kayla's revealed that um, the lady with the white hair and red eyes is was in his dream. Providence mentioned her. Verona mentioned her, who's in Fane's body. It's a lot of info. <laughs> I mean, exactly what are you telling them? Anything anything specifically leaving out? No. So you're letting them know about the Eater of Souls and all that stuff? I... Well, I haven't told them everything yet, either. That, that yeah, he hasn't... That wasn't... All I said was Eater of Souls, and I was it. Not that I got much out of this guy. So... Because depending on what you say to him, he's going to have a specific dialogue for you. Okay. That's my question. Uh, <clears throat> I think mostly that uh, Craven's sister is now following us. Shit. All right. And knows who we are. So you, you tell him about the book and all that stuff, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Oh, shit. The Book of Shadows, you said? Mm-hmm. Well, that's what they told me. I can't read it, whatever that language was. You, you, uh, we need to get back to the Majestic. Or, uh, um, mm -hmm. we, 
we have our connections with the I just had the ringing and I fucking lost it. I know why we're leaving in the middle of the night too. Oh my god. Oh my god. I had it and I lost it. I like 20. I need to, I need to be very organized. These are all the people in the Majestic. I don't know about that right now. Ah, there we go. I found it. We need to get back to the Majestic. Our order has connections with the Divine Vanguard. They have the information that you need. Um, okay. What you say is true. The world is in grave danger. Yeah. He spoke into all of our minds, too. Which is very frightening. Did you tell him that Craven was dead? No, not yet. Okay. Graven's dead. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Just shouting in his sleep. So, yeah. I, I need to wait a little bit more for that one. Yeah, go ahead. When we get back, we need to make a plan to save Craven. Get you in contact with the Divine Vanguard. And uh, we got to stop what's coming. I'm going to try to make a stealth check to keep my face neutral because... That, that, oh, he's yeah. a shroud. He's not even looking at you. He's just kind of okay. looking at the road. He's, he's going pacing back and forth. And I'm going to make another roll. His sister's name was Ira. Ira? Oh, okay. Ira. Welcome Is in, that nerd. Ira with an I, I. or an AI? I. Oh, shit. Um. Sir Frederick? Yeah. Uh, turn, turn right up here. Okay. Um, so Arwen is going to turn and she's going to deep breath two things. She could have been lying to you, too. Keep that in mind. Okay. But you can say what she said. When she spoke to us, she said Craven was dead. Now I'm not sure if that's true or not. What? I don't know. But she said he was dead, but I'm not sure if it's true or not. Give me a perception check. As you turn right, head and start hitting through some fields. Ah, that twenty to twenty-five. As <laughs> as you say this, uh, I'm imagining probably looking up to try to gather the words to tell. Mm -hmm. You see above this humanoid with wings flying above you. As he flies. Oh. Uh -oh. He lands in front of the cart. All you see, you see Craven, white hair, his red that f uh, fades into red, his white wings that fade into blood red, land in front of the cart. And as he lands in the front of the cart, the horses automatically stop because he does one of these numbers. Rang. You speak. I am here. Where's Providence? I need her. And he has this glow.
So, Frederick, yes, what she says, I have passed. I earned my wings. Avison made sure of that. Are you sleeping in the back? Can you get them out, please? Yeah. Not and go Providence. Yeah, what? Haven's here. He's dead. Go back to bed. He, no, he yes, he's dead, but he's glowing and has wings, and it's a little odd. And I need you out here pronto. Ah, oh, crazy guy. Okay. Yes, 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 crazy guy. Help, please. Come on. He needs you pronto, I guess. Nah, uh, she she she'll step out, but she is pulling her sword like as she steps out and starts glowing. Oh, hey, my. Oh. There is another one in the cart. Another I what? I sense more angel blood. Really? Oh. And you see, like, his eyes wide open. I need him as well. Oh. Need who? The one I sense. Okay, that doesn't help me. Could you describe him a bit? He wasn't with y'all before. I never. Ah. I, I just. I Go. sense. I sense his blood. Okay. Uh, the only one I can think is either Isam or Nico. He's on. Nico, out now. Uh, get Gavin. It's definitely a he. A he? Yeah. Okay, so he's on. <laughs> Nico, back to sleep. You're good. You just woke me up, though. I know. Yeah, you're please. fine. You're fine. We weren't sure what, who they were. You're fine. Go back to sleep. Nico. Should I roll to see if, if Isam hears them calling his name? Well, I'm sleep. at the door. Like. <laughs> All right, he'll very slowly get up. So um, Cra Craven is, is here and asking for us. He's alive. No, but he's here. What do you mean, no? He says he's fast and there's wings on him and he's glowing weird. Yeah, he's kind of and that's for you too. You might want to go talk to him. And uh, if you look at Sir Fretter, he's just pure shock. Arminus, could we could we have a moment alone? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. He kind of go into the, the the carriage and kind of close it and go. Does he look like he's like see through like a forest ghost? No, no. no. Robins will probably be trying to touch him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, do you want this silent? Or do you want everybody to hear? Uh, silent, please. Sorry, guys. <laughs> JR, the only ones can hear. Everybody else, take your headsets off and mute. As you walk out, you see the same monk clothes that he was wearing. He is now glowing like a... It flickers between white and red. She said you were dead. Is there a way to, like do some kind of check that would help us understand what the red means like is it bad or good or is it like weird for a celestial to give flicker me, to that color give me religion check or history check Both i'm gonna go with religion all right right <laughs> What'd you get? <laughs> What'd you get? Yeah, Nate? Nate? I got a Nate. I don't know what uh, Providence got. Yeah, I haven't rolled yet. Uh, she's racking her brain. She's heard Craven go crazy stuff, and stuff's been happening her whole life. Uh, she'll want to know. So, religion? Religion or history? 14. Religion. 14 religion. 
Providence in your studies, Sam, you kind of grew out up outside the kind of a uh, the main ch- main clericky areas and stuff, the main churches and stuff. Um, but Providence, you definitely you get the feeling like uh, you're reading and stuff for your year of studies beforehand. You, re- you recall reading something that the blood of an angel that flows through people's bodies take on traits of that angel. So you probably figure it's coming from the whoever angel mm. with blood he's derived from. So you weren't lying. About what? You, you actually are. Some sort of angelic creature, you think? Yes. We don't have much time. I'm glad to see you two have found each other. The prophecy is definitely true. The two of us stand like awkwardly not happy to know each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I feel like any light that she has is kind of being like sucked into you. Eleanor's like polar opposites. Yeah. Yin and yang. Providence. Your mother or I was a correction scratch it. You have the blood of Inyala in you. You said that name before. It doesn't mean anything to me. It's Psalm. You also had the blood of Inyala in you. But you have different male lineages. In a sense, you have the same mother, but different fathers. The prophecy says you will stop the eater of souls from returning. What is this eater of souls? An entity that eats souls. This this makes sense. (laughs) He threatened to consume the world. And Yala gave her life to stop him. Within that, she was killed. But it was sealed by another goddess within the stars. Star, yeah. Best guess, yes. So, y'all need to stop. So, did Astaria seal it into the dagger? Is that what happened? There is a ritual. I do not know exactly. There's a ritual to unseal him in the tomb of tomb of shadows. I do not know how it opens, but the tome is the key to unlocking him. Don't we have it? We have the tone. Excellent. Keep it safe. Keep it secret. I may have perished. But if you're ever in need, I won't be too far away. Your sister. Does she have the ability to turn celestials? evil she has made an evil pact she claimed for power she's still my sister but I do not know if she can be saved is she the one who's been haunting me Have 
never sin. And then y'all were sisters. What was that? Averson? 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 Averson. Averson, just like the magic, the gathering angel. Okay. With that. Wait, is she trying to turn Providence? No one's trying to turn me. He just kind of looks at you like, sure. <laughs> and then goes back. The adults are speaking. <laughs> she has spent her life trying to turn good aligned angels and possibly angel blood to her will. She may not know about you. I even know your name. The prophecy says a brother and a sister will save us all once more. With that being said, my time is now, and I do not want to be seen. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, We can thing. find your body. We can resurrect you. Uh, yeah, uh, that, uh, Minotaur, he crushed my skull. Good luck with that. Um, but I did warn him I'd be a bigger threat in death. I don't think he has anything to do with her. Yes, Providence. Can I get Fane back? How can I get Fane back? Where's Fane? She's gone. She's... The, whatever was giving her powers, whatever was giving Arwen his powers, they switched places. Fane's... She's in the Bloodstone Dagger. Which your sister has. You need to stop her. She needs souls to unlock the seal that was sealed them away. She needs sit souls. Sounds like she has one. Walks over to you, Providence. Takes his hand on top of your forehead. And looks at you. So. He says to you, You can be redeemed. This is your purpose. Keep her safe. And you'll get your wings. Are you getting wings? <sighs> he takes off into the air. Okay, that guy was crazy, right? I should show you something. And okay. he kind of like lifts up the back of his shirt, and you see these like places where there was something that came out of his shoulder blades but these terrible scars where what could have been wings were completely ripped off of him and now he's just got these like awful scars yeah she uh she drops her sarcastic angry face uh which she's been ro rolling with for the past couple of days um she's like it looks really painful i'm, I'm sorry we can talk about it later. We should get to safety and get with the others. And then uh, wait, tell you wait. what I can. So was he right? Am I like special or something? There are different ways to look about it. I can I can tell you what I think. It might not be the same as what Craven thinks, but yes, we're we're from another plane. 
at least part of us are, lineages. Is that, is that why I keep on hurting people? You're a weapon. So I'm a weapon. We were made this way. What hand wields that weapon? Is it Craven's sister? Is it Sulfreda? And you notice a little bit of like, not hatred, but not happiness when he says Sulfreda? <laughs> or is it you? That's, that's the question. I don't like this. I was lucky enough to have someone to show me how to use my abilities. You've had no one. Maybe we can spend some time together. I can teach you some of the meditation techniques that he taught me. Ugh, meditation? Just like, oh. If you want. Fine. No, I, I appreciate it. I, I'm not going to like it, but I appreciate it. And I, I don't tell anybody, but I'm scared I'm going to hurt people. I don't, I'm scared I don't. I'm, I'm scared I'm going to hurt people too, every day. And being scared that you're going to hurt people is what makes you a good person. We should, we should get back to the others. Let's, I, d I don't want them to know all of this. Me either. Okay. As y'all return to Arnis, I will say this, since you're awake, you're probably watching from afar. You saw like a deep conversation. You saw towards the end of this conversation, Craven do one of these numbers, kiss uh, his hand and place it on top of Providence's forehead and turns and says something to the Psalm and then immediately takes off in the air. And as they walk back, and you also probably saw Isam lift his shirt up and show her something yeah, on his yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. yeah. I'm assuming he would have done it in a direction that they couldn't see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably. I'm um, guessing good conversation or deep meaning, but much as I would like to find out about this later, we gotta go. Yep. Yeah. It's a good call. <clears throat> we can talk later. For sure. You guys get some rest. I know you're still exhausted. Yeah. Raven's head was crushed by a minotaur. Wait, Which wait, sounds wait. so cool. <laughs> Did the minotaur have a stone hand? Didn't say. I, I would imagine he must if he's going to crush somebody's skull in like that. <sighs> okay. So, we'll get to this later, but but I'm going to keep that in my mental files. If I'm going to go, make sure that my head gets crushed, please. Okay. Yep. We'll definitely let, I'll let you go out that way for sure. But right now, let's get you guys back in the cart so you can sleep. As you had to with Majestic, so where Frederick will leave me. Us too. Okay. Yep. I'm, 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 I'm fine. I had my four-hour trance, so I'm good for the rest of the night. You need sleep. There's a wicked dance party. Four hours. You, you guys are having strip poker when we get back into the. Uh... No. We saw the chat. We saw the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Why is everyone naked? <laughs> Except for Glitch. Because <laughs> Glitch knows how to play poker, and we don't. Yeah, the card. Alrighty, <laughs> let's get let's get back into it because we only got a f little bit left, so a little bit of time left anyway. Because we're done at pretty much 20 minutes, right? Okay. I think we're done in like three hours. No. I love you, but no. <laughs> I love you too, friend. Eventually, Arnus, 
As he gains his senses back, he's just like, I saw an angel. Crave is an angel now. Uh, turn right up here. Just keep going. What he said. That's a bunch of rights. We're going in a circle. <laughs> <laughs> that was two rights. It was two rights. Two. <laughs> As you come around the last bend, Arnis, you see the West Gate. He says, there's the West Gate. Uh, just, just head through. There's... We, Good? We, we, I mean, it would be fine. They don't have, like, an entry fee or anything like that. No, 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 no. I'm asking if you are okay. Why is he an angel? How? Why is he dead? We should have saved tell him. You? I... We should have saved him. You think we could have stopped it? Fuck. Let's just get back. Let's just get back. Okay. All right. Uh, eventually go through the gate, go down. Let's see, am I on the clicking part? Maybe. Uh, if you're on the map on the above BTT, you're coming in the west gate, coming down, make a left on Haven's, I'm sorry, right on Haven Street. Okay. And you go through the plaza. Getting to be wee hours of the morning at this point. As you pull up in front of this massive area, everybody, you can go ahead and take your long rest. Yay! Yeah. As you pull in up the okay. hours of the morning. Mm -hmm. Just real, real quick. I want to look over spells. Uh, what I wanted to ask you, Providence, earlier was, in addition to sending, do you want me to prepare? There's like a, a dispel curse or dispel something bad that I could try on you to see if that helps you with your getting possessed problem in some way or something. Um, do you want me to give that a shot? It's a third level spell. It only uh, happens when I get really intense in battle. I mean, I don't know that it would help or not help. It might give us some insight. Remove curse is what it's called, is what I'm thinking of. You Do you want me to give it a shot and see what happens? Sure. Okay. Um, yeah, I will prepare that in some game. Okay. Frederick? I want to change up my spells. Oh, I can do that too. <laughs> I don't want to, but I can. <laughs> Can we role play the like um, some of the watches or whatever once we get to sleep so that Isam and Providence well, can day. try to meditate? Well, day. I was just wondering if like before night, like when Isam makes the like, oh, are we not going to sleep at all? I think we yeah, slept. I, in the I, th day. I thought you got back in the cart and slept on the way in. Yes. Oh, uh, I thought that was that's a long rest. Well, well you did got, the oh, first okay. half of it, and then, and then coming in oh, was God, the rest God, of it. Yeah. Okay, I was just gonna try to like use the opportunity to do a meditation moment with Providence, but we could do that another day. I too. mean, if you want to do it, I don't care, but or you can do it when you get here. It's set up in this location if you like. Okay. Um, I just don't want to. Y'all took a lot of time on that by yourselves, and I want to. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Take away from everybody <laughs> else. So, uh, you arrive in front of the thing, or in front of the thing, in front of the majestic. Um, as uh, as Arnis and Frederick probably waking you guys up. Just, we're here. Just follow my lead. Okay. They have, they have good food here. 
Me too. Well, I, I not I don't know about this one, but I've I've been to the, the franchise. Me too. It's good. <laughs> I don't suppose we're close to the local post office. Uh, they would have passed that on the way into Westgate. Sorry? They they passed that on the on in on the way in of the Westgate. Okay. It was by the Westgate. It was by the gate? Yeah. When they came in. But you were asleep. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just run there later. <laughs> it uh, is a new day. Before we get too far, who wants extra plus one to AC. I only got two of them I can do. Give it to somebody, not me. Unless somebody wants it, then I'll take it. I mean, I have a pretty low AC, but so I could always use it. But And I will be... Hey, you can have one. Thank you. You have to attune to it, so... <clears throat> I might as well. Might be helpful for me. I, d I do go hey, run into battle. You'll have the other one back. Okay. okay. Who wants advantage yeah. on initiative? Have... Oh, sorry. Advantage on initiative? You already have you like a plus it. 3,000. So it's, it's a plus you get 12. Those for hey, guys, a while. You have a plus 12 on your initiative? Yeah, plus 12, yeah. Um, <laughs> for now. <laughs> I'll take the advantage. I mean, I always right. will too, but... Yeah, it was like want, yeah, one of the two heavy hitting melees. I would say Providence. Well, I mean, uh, give it if, to Providence because I think I have a higher initiative than Providence. I have, but also uh, plus two. I have a if plus spellcasters want to cast spells before the melee people too. So oh, that's true. Or if um, the, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wants to. All right, I'll are give it to. Yeah, we're following. Providence. Yeah, I'm following. Yeah. Yeah. As you step into the Majestic Inn, yep, you are yep, yep. instantly transported to a realm of enchantment and grandeur. The entrance excludes an air of timeless elegance with a towering archway, uh, anchored stone carvings, and an ornate wood doors. The flickering glow of medieval style lanterns cast a warm and in invitating light, guiding your path deeper into the inn. The interior of the Majestic Inn is, marvel, is a marvel to behold. The expansive floors showcase high ceilings adorned with magnificent chandeliers that illuminate the space with soft golden radiance. The walls adorned with the tapestries depicting ancient legends and noble uh, heraldry, immersing you in a rich history and tales of the realm. Stately columns line the grand hallway, leading you to gaze towards a magnificent uh, hearth. Crackling with comfort, fire, plush, velvet-covered armchairs and couches surround the, the fireplace, inviting wavery travelers to relax and unwind. A soft, uh, mellow music fills the air, played by talent tucked away in the corner. Serene guests of melodies that invoke a sense of wonder and adventure. The scent of delicious, hearty, fair waltz from the inn's tavern is enticing you to explore the culinary delights of white. The tantalizing aroma, roasting meats and fest uh, freshly baked breads mingle with the fragrant spices of uh, promising or spices of medieval inspired dishes promising feasts fit for kings and queens as you take in the sights the sounds and the sense of the majestic you can't help but feel a sense of anticipation of intrigue knowing that behind these great walls is the hidden secrets of the operations of the order of the goblet okay let's just tell me grumbles when this place is really food. majestic. <sighs> Where are we? Um, as it you looks see, very majestic. The opening end, or not opening end, uh, the. As you're walking in, there's like a. As you can see, the pillars to the right, you can see the opening area, but you're walking up to like the front desk, and you hear Sir Frederick say, 
Castellan. And he holds up one of the gold coins that you have. I don't know. Have y'all seen the gold coin? No, no I think Craven he showed, showed it to us. Yeah. yeah, he showed it to us. Yeah. Uh, one of the gold coins with the goblet and the skyline of East Haven. Not East Haven. Uh, uh, Aventus. No, Yeldravia. Oh. And he sits it down and slides it to. And the, he is dressed finely. He's got a shaved head, a wear a kip beard, and uh, it's definitely, he's a human, blue eyes. Leans forward, gives you a nod. And he takes you around the back and into the back. Where he pulls a lantern off the side and opens up and places for you, ushers you to go inside. I think that's where we'll pick up next time. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you guys for having fun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hope everybody have fun. All of the fun. Um. In finance, six five. <laughs> <laughs> Oh Lord, uh, this guy's got another D and D going. Wait, what? I'm confused. I don't know. Maybe they popped in one time and you were doing D and D with a different group of people. Yep. I, uh, don't worry though. I, I let him know that ours is the best group. Welcome in, Omen Garris. Where have you been? Can I get a shout out for Omen Garris? If you're not following Omen Garris, he's a wonderful human being, a wonderful person. He hasn't streamed in a while. Hopefully, he gets back to doing that. Uh, this call concludes to uh, this episode. We'll pick up here in the Majestic when I figure exactly where y'all heading to and all that good stuff. I have it all written down. I just not really feel comfortable. I'm not, I'm not comfortable enough in what I've written to really es- explain it to you. But mm. Welcome, guys. You finally made it to the Majestic where the word of God is. Um, he said the title of the show. <laughs> Um, I hope you guys have fun. Uh, we'll be back next week, uh, 6 p.m. PST, because I will be working. And I will pick up here um, as y'all enter. A lot of lore drop tonight, guys. A lot of lore. A lot of WTFs. We need to come up. Uh, we've been bad about this. We need to come up with a, a proper name for each episode. We kind of got off track, and I'm just kind of winging it. So... I no, come up with so many examples. Well, I think options it needs to be clickbait for YouTube. Providence and Esau need to name this episode. Yeah, because they actually know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. No, yeah. don't be. Don't be. Don't be. It, it's fine. It, it works. Starlight. It's called drop. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel uh, like Silver weird. should be allowed to sit in on those. She writes her notes up. <laughs> Well, speaking of, as we're talking about uh-huh. titles, uh, they need to be clickbait for YouTube. So I haven't been doing it. Exclamation point! YouTube, uh, don't come. call our stuff clickbait. We're quality content, <laughs> but we need we it's need quali- a title that's like man undresses in public. Oh, just sh- like or- <laughs> oh, but, uh, but, uh, I mean, titles it's, have been clickbait. Yeah. They're just a little obscure. Yeah. But uh, please go over and follow the YouTube channel. That's where we post all the VODs. And you want if you're just joining us, you can go catch up on the VODs. This is episode 18. Um, it's kind of a rough start, but uh, we kind of got it back on track. And I think we're really diving into the meat and cheese of it all. Um, yeah, they finally made it e-saving. I don't know why They finally made it e-saving. And yeah, uh, they got a glimpse of what's in their future with that being said we love you very much uh we turn it one last time to all the players uh, again uh doggo wasn't here we haven't heard from him the whole time so i hope everything's good uh we'll turn it over to garner who's playing glitch got anything you want to say <laughs> you're muted <laughs> he really doesn't have anything he wants to say. Ah. <laughs> yeah. I really had nothing I wanted to say. 
Uh, we have Zoldi. Uh, hey. Um, I got nothing to say. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Should be co deeming me with me with the charity event that's happening in October. <clears throat> JR the Nerd. And I will also be playing in that event a Stoner 1T, um, which I'm excited about. Uh, and I am streaming on Tuesday, I believe. So please drop over Tuesday around 7 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, then eventually I'm going to be I'm doing just random stuff at the moment, but eventually I'll be doing more. Uh, maybe starting in September. All right. And Roar Tender playing Kalis. Hi. Uh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Wessel! Yo! <laughs> um, yeah, you guys, everyone watching, if you're not part of the Discord, you should join the Discord, because... Oh yeah, join the Discord. We started doing monthly competitions, and they have prizes, and this month is a short story competition, but it's due in, like, three days, so maybe don't join this month. Next month is gonna be different, though, but I'm not telling what it is, because you need to join the Discord. And thanks for reminding me, in three days, my giveaway that I have posted for a coffee cup of your choice with the Gobble War Gobble and Warlords logo is still is going to be drawn. So make Back sure you get in there and enter into that. Arnis or uh, Silverwolf. <laughs> uh, I'll also be in the charity event uh, this October at coming back as Jean Vereen. But you'll see me here every month, every Sunday. Sorry. Yeah. Used to be Mondays. It's which it's fudged me up so Jean's bad. Jeans coming back. Jeans coming back. Yes. Yeah. Jean's Apple bottom back. style. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jeans coming <laughs> back and. <laughs> bottom style. <laughs> Apple Thank bottom you for jeans. Boots <laughs> <laughs> with the okay. fur. <laughs> and you agreed with it too. That was good. I was expecting you to. Sorry. Uh, yeah, so no, it's fine. It's totally fine. And then you'll see me on uh, Wednesday on my stream uh, about 8.30 in the morning. And then Friday around either 5 or 7 between there. But <sighs> thank yep. you all for watching. And uh, another person that's going to be in that charity event is Cleansing Ring, which I'll be on his channel tomorrow night for Lithen, uh, Grave Cleric. And as we try to save Oz from Jack, you know, make sure you go check him out and see me there. That being said... You guys have a wonderful night. Stick around for the raid. I gotta keep. I gotta get on top of that. And figure out who we raiding before we raid out. But yeah, stick around for the raid. We'll figure out who's live and uh, see you. I'll probably on the actually, flip side. I'll be live on Thursday. I'll be painting a. Uh, I don't know where I put it. A dolphin. I'm painting for somebody that's a veteran that wanted uh wanted wanted a dolphin made it for her. So. She's one of her own beings. So. Uh, I'll probably be painting that on stream on Thursday while my truck is in the shop. Thank you guys for hanging out. We love you very much. Have a good night. Bye. Good night. Protecting the realm with a search Our mission, our duty, our pledge To keep the balance, to save the earth We are the guardians of the land Unseen, unheard, we make our stand In the taverns, in the alleys, in the night We fight for justice, we fight for what's right Raise your swords and raise the shield Secrets I see you. So beware of who dare to pull up a 
Protect us.